Sir. Seriously, have you thought about a drawbridge? Sweet, Granville. Well, uh, well, why don't you just take one milk bottle and I'll hold the flowers and then you... Well, say something. Can't you speak? Normally I can. I mean, normally I can speak. What I mean is, if we were going out together on a date or something, I'd be able to speak. I'm almost certain I'll be able to speak. Nobody's ever given me flowers on the street before. You're a nice person, Granville. Oh, I wish you'd never said that. Why? Because that's what girls say when they turn round and go off with somebody nasty. <laughs> somebody big, handsome and nasty. Funny you should say that. I knew it. I knew it. Never mind. Keep the flowers anyway. What's my boyfriend going to say? Well, don't tell him. Who's going to tell him? I'm not going to tell him. He's the milk round supervisor. He'll see me wandering round with these. Oh, well, let's be honest about it. Tell him that Granville gave them to you. You know, Granville, who's not such a nice person, but maybe underneath is pretty nasty in an attractive sort of a way. <laughs> you know, keep the flowers. Tell him that's how Granville is. You know, flowers, champagne, bolts. <laughs> Stick to your bolts. Mill <laughs> round supervisor. He's big, isn't he? Did Mrs. Gillespie come in for her bread? Yes. Well, well what happened to the flowers? Her boyfriend gave them back to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dear. There we are, Mrs. Parslow. Will there be anything at all for Mr. Parslow? I don't see why there should be. He never buys anything for me. Oh, well, I thought you might surprise him with a bit of something tasty. I would. I knew where she lived. <laughs> <laughs> How's that uh, eldest boy of yours, then? Getting daft. Oh, dear. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Parslow. I call again. Uh, suppose I shall have to. Afternoon, Mrs. Parslow. Glad you think so. <laughs> <laughs> that woman. Yes, had a hard life. Built for it, wasn't she? Specially designed for it. Imagine how she'd cope with being happy. <laughs> Very below average in being happy, my love. Who was that? Don't worry, don't worry. It's a man whose dog often takes him for a walk. About the <laughs> what size dog is it? I don't know, he's never got that far in. <laughs> What does he do if he wants to 
to buy something. You'll see. He'll be, he'll be back in a minute. <laughs> there he comes. Come on a minute now. Stay. Stay. Ooh. Could I hit you? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, watch this next bit, it's good. <laughs> well, uh, at least we've got his money. What does he want? A smaller flaming dog, if you ask me. <laughs> what does he want to buy? All that will become clear in the fullness of time, my lord. Come on, come on, come on, now, stay, stay, sit, sit. Ooh. Could I have a bag of the condition powders, then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! What will he do with it when it gets healthy? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do something with that till? I know, I'll have to. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, I should be coming in here and finding you harmless. <laughs> Which would do us all a favour. <laughs> it is on the list of little adjustments I have to make, my love. It is a second in order of priority. What's first? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Serves me right for asking. Uh, I know. Now, watch. Here we go. Here we go. Down, down, down! Sit! Uh, oh, oh, thank you very much. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> Cheerio! <laughs> He's right at the top of the street now. Right, if he's in that good a condition, it must be him who's taking the powders. <laughs> Morning, Granville. <laughs> Are you still engaged? Yes, I'm still engaged. Oh, well, if, if it ever falls through, you'll know where to find me. In the Northern Eye Hospital. <laughs> Granville, you're a sweetheart. I don't want you crazy about me out of sympathy. Just cos I'm blind. <laughs> Going. Just, just a little query about the nurse's bread order. Oh, it's careful. Oh. Yes, look, supposing somebody sees you. Well, good heavens, if you're too engaged for persons who can't sort out their own bread order, what's the country coming to? Second thoughts, I think I'd be a bit, bit more welcome of bearing the gifts. Plastic rose again. It's worth its weight in grope, is this? A gold. <laughs> I present her with it, which per puts her in a good mood. I'd take advantage of that good mood, which puts her in a bad mood. She throws it at me, I catch it, and I'm ready for the next time. And no, no, not a penny spent. <laughs> you never know. Things might be different this morning. <laughs> Are you in there, my little uh, sleeping beauty? 
Uh, Prince Church, uh, to tell me now. <laughs> Don't be lying in your lonely bed, my love. There's a, a couple of hundred weight of pure delight out here. <laughs> What am I doing? Well, well, what are you doing next to the door? I'm not next door. It's you, you fool. You're next door. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, was, I was just climbing up here to rescue a little well, we're wounded budgie. Yeah, don't panic now, don't panic. I can feel his little her heart fluttering. <laughs> Oh, you look as if you might have got a nice warm place for a little little home, Miss Kekrink. <laughs> you just take your little budgie home. <laughs> Come in, Mrs. Blake. No, Granville, I'm not stopping. I just popped in to inquire if everything's all right. All right? Oh, well, you hear such stories. It's not true, is it? Is what true? Now, don't be offended. I'm only repeating what I've heard. No, no, go on. I shan't be offended. I want you to know that I never believed it personally, but there's a whisper going around that he gave Gordon Stackpole his money back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aye, that's true. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. <laughs> Is there anything we can do? No, no, I don't think so. Thank you very much, Mrs. Blake. We just, you know, we just have to hope it's going to pass. Chin up, Granville. <laughs> yes, it's true. He gave Gordon Stapp all his money back. <laughs> Elsie? Yeah. It's true. He gave Gordon Stapp all his money back. He's given Gordon Stackpole his money back. He, it's true. He gave Gordon Stackpole his money back. Hi, Granville, have you, have you got a pair of eyebrow tweezers there? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Do I look the type who has eyebrow tweezers about his person? Well, you don't get your penny in a knot. Especially when I'm cultivating this macho look. You know, I refrain from shaving some days in order to achieve this aggressive-looking stubble. <laughs> and then some clown comes up and says, uh, Can I borrow your eyebrow to do it? <laughs> well, listen, I don't mean your own but the personal ones. We sell them here, don't we? They're on that card over there. And get me a bottle of iodine and all, will you? Right. What you want them for? Oh, I just I knelt on a box of tomatoes and I've, I've got uh, splinters in my knees. Oh. I didn't think tomatoes had splinters. I thought they had pits. <laughs> Do you want to be a box around the ears? Because I've got a special one in mind. It's out there, but full of splinters. Oh! Well, personally, I fully expect to find these rumours of his strange behaviour much exaggerated, like his prices. It's Granville I feel sorry for. There's nothing wrong with Granville. Why do you feel sorry for him? I don't know, really. I think he's just got that sort of face. How can you not feel sorry for Granville? Every time I see him, I just want to cuddle him. You're not usually so positive about anything. It's just maternal. I think it's just maternal. <laughs> How can you tell? I don't think you can till it's too late. <laughs> I find life so complicated. It is, unless you keep it in its place. I thought I'd be used to it by now. Well, I'm not a religious woman, but I find if you say no to everything, you can hardly tell the difference. <laughs> Life is something we're given as a test. I think I've failed. I used to look up to Mr. Artwright. He could handle it. You can afford to at his prices. I thought he was unshakable. And then you hear all these stories about him giving money back. I don't believe it. I've got every confidence we shall walk into this shop and find him just the same as he's always been. Well, what's, what's wrong with her? Hey, 
We mistook a couple of customers there, Granville. You should have had them. Well, me? They were only in here a couple of seconds. Well, yeah, you were nearest, weren't you? We can't afford to let customers as slip through our knees like that. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, who would address in a costume like that and uh, propose like that? Aha! Oh, dear, he'll uh, never get the hang of that thing. What we need is uh, someone who's attractive, but uh, not, uh, not too expensive. Someone who's not too bright, but brave enough to be uh, casual about things like her frostbite. Mr. Albright, <laughs> could you come a minute, please? Julie. Little uh, 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 jelly top Julie. <laughs> Miss Arkwright's store, 1982. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, she, she might even do it for sweets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you get me out? What are you doing inside that, Granville? He's got me by the dangler. <laughs> How very inconvenient for you. Yes, I know. I was so busy trying to keep my fingers out of the way, I, I quite forgot about me dangler. <laughs> yes, yeah, you do, don't you? Is there anything I can do, Mr. Artwright? Well, it's, it's funny you should say that, Jelly. Uh, yeah, Julie. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'll, uh, just, uh, I'll be with you in a minute, Gr Granville. Uh, would you mind walking to the door and back, uh, yeah, To Julie? the door? Yes, and back. There's a good lass. Could you get me out? I'll be with you in a minute, uh, Granville. <laughs> What is it, Miss Rara? It's me slip showing. Oh, there's all in me tights. God, I bet there's all in me tights. No, 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 no. Calm down, dear Julie. Everything's her fine. Well, uh, yeah, almost of her fine. <laughs> uh, tell me, have you ever thought about my modelling? Have you ever thought of uh, getting me out? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah, no, my modelling, Julie. Oh, yes. I don't think I'd be any good at it. Oh, it would be under my own uh, supervision and guide. Why, well, we're never any good at it before. Oh, you've done it before, have you? Oh, uh, oh. Well, I, 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 I think I should say, say straight away, Julie, that I could only offer you a fair, 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 fair fraction of of the going rate. You see, I didn't realise you had murmur me and my, my model before. I'm still here. <laughs> it's been quite a while. Yeah, my feelings exactly. I think you were in standard four. I made this gnome out of plasticine. Ah, oh, no, I didn't mean that. Well, it was supposed to be a gnome. Yeah. Actually, it looked more like a frog. In fact, when the teacher came round, she said, what's that you've made, Julie? So I said, please, miss, it's a frog. I'm not usually so quick thinking. She picked it up, she said, oh, she said, it's a frog, is it? And she handed it back with a snooty expression. She said, oh, it looks more like a gnome. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I think you lost me around about the, the second frog, Julie. The, uh, no, what it is, I want you to model yourself, you see. I want you to be a mo Consider this while I go and unravel our a gravel. A gravel. It's an about time to. Yeah, now, how would you feel about being a little Miss Arkwright's of stores in a, in a 1982? No, thank you. I've only got out my penny. I'm not putting a dress on now. <laughs> Not you, you great clown. I'm talking to you, Julie. Oh. Little Miss Arkwright's stores? Yes. 1982? Yeah, he's a sort of central figure in our advertising campaign, you see. Me? Look, Miss Sorry, get me out of here! Bill, be quiet, please. You're getting very noisy since you left your vest off. No, will you just... <laughs> just get me out! It's like having a l loud speaker in the shop. Ah! Ah! That's it! <laughs> Oh, that's it. A, a, that's a, what? A loud speaker in the shop, just like they have in, in, in the supermarket. Where are you going with a, now? With, with a regular announcement to the, to the customers. <laughs> we'll have a speaker pointing that way, so it'll reach all the people in the street, you see. <laughs> Where's he going? Hey, come back. No, don't leave me here. Look, don't. Look, will you? Don't. Will you? <laughs> Granville. Oh, it's you, Julie. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, uh, 
Don't hang about there. This is work to be done. <laughs> One minute you were upright, the next minute his legs were all over the place. I know. His, his mother was very similar. <laughs> Are you going to start dressing properly again? Yes, I will. I'll start dressing properly again. Oh. Uh, oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> don't pull it. <laughs> oh, hey, don't pull him. <laughs> oh. Where's, where's me dangler? Well, what kind of a question is that to ask a, f a furry fairy? <laughs> oh. Shall I put, put another lump of coal on the fire, my love? I think it's going out. So will you be in a minute, so don't get too settled. Oh, I'll just finish this delicious cup of cocoa and then I'll be off. How dare you? That's coffee. Mm. I should have known, shouldn't I? It's so like you. Full-bodied, indefinable, and, uh, deep, with two, uh, two lumps. <laughs> All right, you old fool, don't start. Come on, drink up. Sam, you are off. It's been a tiring day. Yes, well, eventful, certainly. Little uh, uh, Julie's costume uh, caused quite a stir, didn't it? Have you ever thought of uh, taking up skating, my love? Me? Why? I've just opened a rink in my bedroom. <laughs> It's certainly cold enough up there. I think I might, might buy you one of them little skirts as a birthday present. Ah, things are looking up. You don't usually buy me anything for my birthday. No, I'm, I'm talking about my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the one who's going to enjoy it. No, I think it'd be a nice little change for your bit of a bottom. You bit. leave my bottom out of this. Bottom draw, I was going to say. I wish you'd let me finish. A skate registered nurse. I like that. <laughs> What's that? They're not really great legs, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> really legs. Especially this one here. Mind you, that one over there is nice as well. Oh, Grandpa. Oh, Julie. Oh, thump. I'll have to go. 